This is one of uh, HMRC's biggest buildings in central London. We have hundreds of people working here. This morning it's been very quiet. Um, it seems to us that the strike today is having a real effect. <laughs> I mean, we've come out over pensions. I mean, that, that's why, though, why we've been able to get all the trade unions together to come out in solidarity with one another. But it's not just about pensions, it's also about job cuts, it's about pay. It's about though, it's our whole standing and status as public sector servants. We're now faced with a situation of having a pay cut and we've got to try and find an extra 60 quid a month to pay into a pension scheme, and this just is highly unfair. The FDA represents senior civil servants uh, right up to the very highest levels in Whitehall and those are the kind of people who are out on strike today. For the first time I'm standing on a picket line, for the first time my union is on strike. I'm here in support of the strikers that have come out in campaign to protect their pensions. I'm a member of Parliament and this is my workplace. The unions have put picket lines on and I'm respecting those picket lines. I'm also chair of the PCS parliamentary group. PCS has a large number is affected by this and really it's a matter of everyone standing firm now and standing together. If they attack this pension, to be frank with you, I think public sector pensions overall in this country will be undermined in the same way they were in the 80s and 90s in the private sector. So this is a basic act of solidarity on my part. It's trying to force the government back into negotiations. And if we don't win on this particular dispute and this for this particular action, we'll be back on the industrial action in the new year as well. Because we're low paid, they feel we haven't got a voice. But as you see today, we have got a voice. And it's getting stronger. And all we're asking for is what we signed up for when we joined. We signed a contract to say, you work hard, you do your work, and at the end of it, you'll get a pension you can retire at a certain age, but now government's changing all the rules. All the rules have been changed. And even yesterday, they've announced that the increase to the retirement age will come in even quicker. No negotiation, no consultation. This isn't the way that things should be done. Uh, and these people in here don't seem to care. They haven't got an iota of how much hardship uh, we, the workers, that are supporting their systems uh, to keep the country afloat. Um, they, they don't know the hardship that, 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 that we're facing at the moment. When was the last time that kind of two million people mobilised around the country to, to protest against anything? I, I think that, that's very telling. Of, um, and um, I, I'm sure when that many people organise and get together that some sort of change has to happen. I, it can't be ignored. We're not asking for anybody to pay into our pension. We're asking for our pensions to be left alone. We're going to have an incredible strike day today, um, but fundamentally, we know today isn't going to change the government's minds. What today is, is a warning to them that if they don't back down, then we're going to create further strike action. Mark Sawakar, our General Secretary, has already said that he wants to create a public sector strike in the new year. We want to get firefighters out with us next time. We want to get transport workers. But fundamentally, we also want the private sector to get involved because they're facing exactly the same attacks on us. The dispute today is infecting the private sector. So we've just had the Unilever workers in the private sector vote for industrial action to protect their pension scheme. We've got private sector workers now saying, why haven't we got a pension scheme? And again, it enables us to start recruiting into the trade union movement again and, and waging a pensions campaign overall for economic security for all. So I think this dispute creatively now is reinvigorating the trade union movement. They're standing up for their pensions. They're standing up for their rights. They've had a kick in and they've had enough. They've had enough. And basically what we're saying is they can't afford 3% extra. No way. We're not asking for extra. We're asking for our contracts to be honoured. The people are speaking. Millions and millions of public sector workers are making it known that they've had enough. People just see this as being the fight of their lives. You know, we've got people here right, who basically devoted their whole lives to the public sector. And you see what the government's doing and they want to fight back. Well, what will get a result is more people joining the union and coming out and sending out the message that, you know, we're not having it. But the way that we win 
is not just individual disputes or individual unions fighting on, uh, in an isolated way, but we win when we work together, we campaign together, we strike together. So coordinated industrial action. Keep it going. Keep it going. No exit strategy for now. Uh, but my personal perspective is, and I'm very proud of my union, is that we carry on. Keep calm and carry on.